They want to regrow their hair. They're suffering from all types of hair loss conditions. And so I just really want you to talk about how hair loss is really a symptom of something yes. deeper that's going on and what process you take here at Ageless to kind of... Hey, baddies, it's your girl, Bevy, and we're here at Ageless, okay? And listen, like I said to you before, this is a new year, and I'm really going to put you girls... And, and guys up on game okay so this is the first of many series we're about to walk into this medical spot and i'm going to show you some cosmetic treatments that you guys can do that's going to help you regrow your hair reverse your age and just reveal that inner body inside of you okay so let's go inside because we're going to see my home girl nurse tamara Devereaux, and we're going to just talk about some of the services that she offers, specifically pdo threads for hair growth and we're gonna talk about that IV infusion so you can get them vitamins directly to your cells. Let's go. to the baddies. Hi everyone, I'm Tamara Devereaux. I am the owner and medical provider here at Ageless, where you can be your best self. Uh, I am a holistic and adult nurse practitioner, also specializing in functional medicine. Okay, so we're going to talk about how we're going to change your life today, okay? We're going to change your lives, okay? With PDO threads, y'all. So what's this right here? Hi, Hi you have a pretty receptionist. receptionist. This is my beautiful daughter, Tatiana. Hi, Tatiana. And Tatiana is a receptionist. She assists me with some uh, procedures. And um, this is her. And this is her, her, her artwork. Okay. <laughs> you know I love me a, a multi-talented girl, okay? Look at that. This is your artwork right here. Drop your Instagram. What's your Instagram name? Art by Tati. All right. With Let's support. Y, y. <laughs> Tati with a Y. Okay, I'll link it down. All right, so we're going to do a quick tour of Ageless so you guys can see all the goodies that's here to offer, especially if you're in the New York area. And then we're going to go directly into what PDO threads are, how they can help you with anti-aging, with with your hair and of course we're going to do a little treat at the end we'll talk about that soon okay let's go this is just our uh, room where i prepare all our medical treatments prp the threads storage room okay so we're here to talk about pdo threads right so before we go into what it is and all that stuff i just want to make sure that we explain what does it mean to prepare a pdo thread before you start um, the procedure okay so the PDO threads are FDA cleared devices, medical devices. And so I'll just show you, they come sealed in a package with the description of the thread, even a photo, because there are different types of threads. Um, and so once this is opened, you have to use the thread within just a, about a week at, at max. Okay, so that's the thread. I have a sterile field here. Mm -hmm. And I have uh, chlora preps for, to cleanse the patient's face. And the other preparation basically would be prepping the person, okay. okay. um, the area that we're going to do the thread. And Tamara's gonna show us that today, so don't you guys worry, okay? So let's just continue this tour really quickly and see how this beautiful facility works. So one of the things, you know, we try to inspire people, and so most of our rooms do have inspiration quotes. This is my favorite. She believed she could, so she did. Okay. Yes. Yay, me. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and so this is my office where I do all my consultations and where we have deep discussions on how to make you healthy. Oh, wow. And beautiful. So you're a nurse practitioner. What does that yes. mean for everyone watching? Okay, so I'm a registered nurse and have been a registered nurse for uh, almost 30 years. <laughs> we can't tell! <laughs> that didn't come off that talk too easy. <laughs> okay. Um, so a, a nurse practitioner is um, a nurse that has her doctorate degree, mm -hmm. so it's advanced practice. Um, we are able to do everything a physician can do. Okay. I can prescribe, I can admit patients to the hospital, I can take care of patients in the hospital, I can have my own practice. Oh, wow. And after, in New York State, after approximately three years of working, you can work independently without any 
medical overseeing. Oh, wow. a doctor overseeing. So, um, did you ladies hear that? Listen, Batty, she can write prescriptions, okay? <laughs> so when I tell you you need somebody to write a prescription to manage yes. your girl. Yeah. Okay? But she's only in New York. She's only in New York. <laughs> now, do you do anything outside of New York? Um, I do have my Florida license, California license, and Hawaii license. Okay? <laughs> you, okay, keep that in mind. Let's go. And, and I'm also a holistic nurse practitioner. So, that's, I'm also I'm duly licensed. So, so let's talk about that really quickly. What does a holistic nurse practitioner mean? A holistic nurse practitioner, we look at the whole person. Okay. So it's not just what's going on with your heart. It's not just what's going on with your stomach. We okay. look head to toe. Okay. Okay, because there's so many contributing factors. Spiritual, emotional. Mm. Um, what's going on with, what's going on with uh, your head, headaches. It's probably tied to your gut. Right. So I'm also a um, functional medicine provider. I'm a licensed functional medicine. Functional medicine basically is the why of medicine. Mm. Why do you have the stomach pain? Yeah. Not writing, not writing prescriptions just to give a band-aid. Right, right. Maybe, you know, what foods are you eating? Right. What's contributing to your hair loss? Right. Right? Hair loss is a symptom of something going on internally. Right. And I would love for you to park that there really quickly. My favorite term, park that there. <laughs> um, simply because, you know, the baddies here, they're on this channel because they want hair loss tips. They want to regrow their hair. They're suffering from all types of hair loss conditions. And so I just really want you to talk about how hair loss is really a symptom of something yes. deeper that's going on. And what process you take here at Ageless to kind of... Yes. You know, the, kill the, that onion. The one thing that I stress is for everyone to do an elimination diet. Okay, what's That's an elimination basically diet? a reset of your body. Mm. Healing the gut, decreasing inflammation, finding out what foods is your is your body reacting to. Okay. Um, it's a great process. Uh -huh. I'm actually on my second one this year. Really? Yes. Um, I love it. So how do you start that with someone at home who wants so, to reset? Um, it's a very intense process. Mm -hmm. um, we, it's important to have a one-on-one, -on -one, heart to heart conversation with the person. Okay. What's been going on? What is going on? Mm -hmm. um, do you have seasonal allergies? Mm -hmm. You'll be surprised, carrots have pollen. Really? So there are so many foods that trigger histamine. What does histamine trigger? An immune response, Look inflammation. At that. Inflammation leads to so many illnesses, okay. including hair loss. Including hair loss. Right? Most hair loss is autoimmune, which is your body's attacking itself. Right, right. Why is it attacking itself? Because you have so much inflammation. You just dropped some, some gems, because <laughs> I had no idea that histamine had a correlation with hair loss. Yes, because histamine causes inflama the, uh, an inflammatory response. Wow, look at that. Right? Comment That's... down below if you guys want some more information about histamine and hair loss. <laughs> Yes. So let's go through the rest and then I want to get, so we're going to have, we have something special for you guys. We're going to actually show you a live demonstration of PDO threads. This is currently my body sculpting room. My favorite device, my M sculpt device, which builds muscle and melts fat at the area. Oh, really? Biceps, triceps, abs, buttocks, thighs, calves. And so I just, who's a candidate for this? Um, anyone who does not have a medical device in in their body, for instance, an IUD, okay, a pacemaker. Otherwise, anyone can do it. So this is to melt fat. It built, bulks up the bulks up the muscle. Okay. And a side effect of it is it melts the fat in that area. Really? Yes. So if I have that little pooch that I want to get rid of, gone. How long? So you'll see it immediately after one treatment. Okay. One Thirty minute treatment, you'll notice it. It peaks in about five weeks, Okay. but the muscle keeps building up to five months. Oh my goodness. And so you do four treatments in two weeks, and then you can do maintenance. Come once a month, and you do 20,000 sit-ups in 30 minutes. Oh my goodness. So what about my post-liposuction, post-tummy tuck girls? Oh yeah, for sure. Really? Anyone, as long as you don't have metal in your body. Okay. And, and if you have where, where they, people who have been pregnant and this, the stomach kind of splits right abdomen, abdominal muscles this reduces it by 25 to 50 percent really yeah that is a good There's head a more start medical term for it but basically where the abdominal muscles have torn because of pregnancy this so we, we talk we, we say the the the, the <laughs> terms here is that diastasis right yes, yes. all right <laughs> ladies you know we smart over here we know our science over here okay yeah so listen we're not talking about the end sculpt today but if you yeah. guys want a video on that we'll come back and this is just 
one of my recovery boots. It's called Normatec. A lot of athletes use it. It's a compression device for from your thighs if you suffer from swelling of the legs. Um, really heavy legs. This is great to resolve that. Okay. And it's just a dollar a minute. Really? Yes. Yeah. So this is just an extra room. This is uh, my Aerolace device, the laser device that does everything. Um, hyperpigmentation, collagen induction, hair removal, toenail fungus. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Um, wow. It's a great device. Oh, so uh, this, melasma. Oh wow. Okay. Yes. How like how many treatments do they need to start seeing that discoloration lift? Um, once you leave here, you're gonna start seeing it. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah, and you won't even look like you had a laser done. Um, painless. You'll see it immediately, and it will just get better. And most treatments are every two, two to four weeks, and on average four. Uh, for treatments and wow. for packages to save, you know, save the cost. And here's the question that I always ask when it comes to lasers. Is this, you know, oh, yes. safe? The Aerolace is <laughs> great for skin of color. Yes. Yes. Um, I, I use it myself almost every week. <laughs> oh, good. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so it's not um, painful then. It's it's not it's not painful. Really. So if you notice any discomfort, I just turn it down. Okay. Even All with right. hair, even with hair reduction. Right. Here we have our little IV room. The IV room. Yeah. So what 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 happens in the IV room? So we put some little nice music. Okay. Lounge here. Um, if they want Norma Tech boots while they're doing it. What's that? Um, that's the compression boots. Okay. Um, that increases the circulation so they can sit here and relax, fall asleep, the IV pole, and just... And that's with the them. IV infusion? It's with the IV infusion. Okay, and we're going to see that later on today, right? Yes. Okay, and so really quickly, who is a candidate for the boots? That's that's a good one. Um, anyone is a candidate... Um, even if you're pregnant, um, I've had clients who are pregnant because the only thing you have to worry about with pregnancy is actually compressing the, the, the bottom of the feet. Right. So anyone that has swelling, they work out, they want to re have their muscles recover because it increases the blood flow. Right. So you won't be painful the next day. Right. Um, yeah, anyone with circulation issues or just swelling. Really? The boots? Uh, tired feet. Nurses who are on their feet all the time. Oh, wow. Okay. And what's that name again? What's the Norma word? Normatech. Normatech boots. Okay. There you go. And what yes. if you want to prevent blood clotting and things like that? That's good for um, them too? Yes. Okay. And you know, I'm asking. I'm asking all the questions you yes. guys want to know. Yeah. All right. So. Well, thank you for the tour. So now let's get to what we're here for. We're here to talk about PDO threads, okay? For your anti-aging, for your hair, for anti-aging, and we're also going to do an IV infusion. So I'm excited to talk about what those things are and what they're for, who they're for, etc. And this is my main treatment room here. Oh, this one says just breathe. Look at that. Yes. Yes. So before they come in here, a little scared, breathe. Breathe. So why would they be scared if they're coming in here? Well, what happens people, in here? Some people are afraid of needles. Needles, okay. And almost anything that you want to do to yes. reverse aging has to do with some kind of needles. Gotcha. So it's important to just breathe. Right, okay. So this right here is where the magic happens, the yes. PDO threads. Okay, this is where the PDO threads happen, ladies. We're gonna talk about it. I promise you, we're gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna reveal the tea in a minute, yeah. okay? And we try to keep it nice and cool. You know, we have our little smooth jazz playing in the back. Yes, right. <laughs> and, you know, my daughter assists me. She usually uses a little vibrating device to kind of redirect the nerve sensations. So it's psychologically, it's relieving the person, but at the same time, it reduces the pain. Okay, so what are PDO threads and who is it for? Okay, so PDO, thread, PDO threads are, uh, is a suture material. Okay. okay. That they've been using in pediatric cardiac surgery, different types of surgery since the 90s. Okay. And in Korea, they actually began using it for facial rejuvenation, to lift uh, the face, almost like a non-surgical facelift. Mm -hmm. So essentially, um, the best candidate is someone who doesn't have too much heavy laxity in their face. Okay. Okay. I have done a procedure, a simple facelift on people who do have a lot of jowl hanging. Wow. Um, okay. 
you know, but it's all about realistic expectations. Okay. Because what the PDO thread will do, so it's a, it's, it's a suture material that is basically reabsorbed into the body after several months. Okay. Depending, it could be six months to a year. So can I translate this a little bit, keep it a little simple? So by suture material, you mean like stitching or stitches in a sense? Stitches, yes. Okay, so st dissolvable stitches. Dissolvable stitches. And you use that in, for the purposes of anti-aging. Anti-aging. So what it does mm -hmm. is, so w there are several different types of threads. Right. So one thread, the mono thread, is there for tightening okay. the collagen. So as you insert the thread, the thread is wrapped around a needle. Okay. So it's like an acupuncture needle. Okay. Okay. Um, minim, minim, minimal pain. Okay. Okay. Um, if any. Right. And so it's thread is wrapped around the acupuncture needle. Mm -hmm. It's placed in an area where you want to tighten or lift. Oh. Okay. So the mono thread is a straight thread, and that is more for tightening and building collagen. So as he places under the skin, two things happen. One, collagen is produced as a result of an injury underneath the skin. Okay. And second, it's also stimulating fibroblasts, which is the building blocks of collagen. Okay, so we want fibroblasts. That's a yes. good thing because it's going to help us rebuild collagen. Exactly. And so I target a lot of, you know, baddies that are over 30, over 35. So why is collagen important for us? Well, collagen is a building block of everything. Your organs, your skin. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you build new collagen, you're basically reversing aging. Really? So is it is it easy for us to rebuild our own collagen in general? No. No. You you stop you stop um, producing collagen around thirty. Really? Hold on. You got that? We stop producing collagen around thirty years old. So now, how is it that PDO threads can help us to boost collagen if we're no longer producing collagen? Because it's it's forcing the body to do something. Okay. So once you have an injury, you think about when you cut yourself, what happens? You heal. You heal. And what makes up your skin, your tissue, is collagen. Wow. And so it's, an, it's the body's natural um, way of repairing. And so the other thing that the, you'll find that the thread will do is that it will increase circulation. Really? And so as it's increasing, increasing circulation, you're getting improvement in your skin texture, um, acne, acne scars, mm -hmm. um, enlarged pores become less visible because of the whole mechanism of inflammatory process. Um, the building up new collagen, the fibroblast building on um, helping to bring new collagen. And, and the, what they're also finding in the research is that the fat cells become denatured, they disappear. So you can actually remold someone's face if you are um, very creative with placement. Are you threats. serious? Listen, hold on. <laughs> I have a ton of questions for you, but all, before we even go into the whole bunch of questions that I have, is you can also use PDO threads to regrow your hair or for hair loss? Yes, because basically what you're doing is that you are stimulating the hair follicles. Okay. So you're not only stimulating the hair follicles or waking them up, but if they are miniaturized, which is what happens with traction alopecia, right. it will stimulate them to become larger. Okay, so we talked about PDO threads and how it's really good for rebuild, rebuilding collagen, yeah. um, which is good for reversing our age. So if you want to look ageless, okay, plug. If you want to look younger, ladies, you want to do something like PDO threads, right? But what I didn't know, and I'm just learning this today for the first time with you, is that you can also use PDO to treat, PDO threads to treat hair loss. How does that work? So what the threads are doing is as you're placing them in the area of loss, it's stimulating the hair follicles. Okay. Um, it's like which traction alopecia, it's where you have uh, the, the follicles become smaller. Right. You can actually make them get bigger again. Really? And then what the threads are doing, it's increasing circulation, which you need for growth. Now, are you comfortable with talking to me about the MOA of how the PDO threads can enlarge the follicle? Um, so, the whole um, mechanism of the PDO thread is the stimulation of the fibroblast, the stimulation of the, the collagen. So it's by causing the injury, it's an inflammatory process. Right. So that is stimulating 
everything to regenerate. Right. And renew itself. Right. Because follicles are cells, right? Exactly. And we want follicles to regenerate, right? I always say pop like popcorn, right? So now I'm looking at this patient. I'm sorry, patient. Um, he has a head full of hair. Yes. Does he really need PDO threads? Well, so Robert and I have been working together for a while now. Okay. Um, if I may, he had developed over the years, I would say over 20 years, is that yes. fair to say? Yes. He had been struggling with a whole typical male pattern baldness through here. Wow. And so what we started to do is we started with a mixture of PRP and PDO threads. Wow. Okay. So, Can you talk, talk about PRP very lightly and then yes. the, the mixture of the PDO threads, how that works? So the PRP essentially is isolating uh, your plate, platelets in your plasma. The platelets have stem cells, growth factors, and so this is regenerating mm -hmm. the hair follicles. Right. So in conjunction with the PDO threads, I would place the PDO threads, and since, uh, as you'll see, the PDO threads looks like the tip of a needle. Right, okay. Right, of a syringe, I would just attach the PRP syringe to the PDO thread. Mm -hmm. And as I'm pulling out the PDO thread, I'm injecting platelets. So it's like a double layer. Are you serious? You can do that at the same exact time? Yes. Because I thought when you said you did it in combination, you did PDO thread separately and then kind of exclusively. We, we did both. Okay. We did we did do both. But, um, you know, there's also a cost factor. Right. Right. So there were times where we just did one or the other. But it works optimal. Right. You did both. Because now you have this double layer. Oh my goodness. And this, so this is a gentleman that's been struggling for over 20 years. Over 20 years. Do you mind me uh, talking to you a little bit? Sure. Sure. So, I mean, did you have any diagnosis at all that, that you knew of? I had previously been to a physician in Manhattan. Okay. Um, and yes, I was diagnosed. And I, like uh, Tamara said, for 20 years I've been struggling with hair loss and trying to find um, some kind of mitigating solution. Or what did you try? I tried everything under the sun. Really? Basically, from snake oil to, uh, to propecia, um, any and everything. Topicals. Topicals, yes. Um, vitamins. Vitamins, wow. lasers. Oh, wow. Yeah. Any results at all from those, or just not as good as the results from the PDO threads and the PRP? I would say it's not... To say night and day is not enough. Really? Yeah, so dramatic change okay. over time. Right. Um, under physician's care, under uh, supervision. And, right. Um, I've been ecstatic about my result. Oh my goodness. So, just out of curiosity, how long did it take for you to start noticing your own results? I would say within a couple of months, I've, or, yeah, a couple of months I've seen progress and then over a period of um let's say a year mm -hmm. dramatic change really so you remain consistent remain consistent remain um very happy and um i couldn't say enough about the care i received here at ageless mm. the magic touch of tamara um, the explaining of what we're going to do, right. the benefits, um, and to see the results is so heartwarming and it's so, um, it, it's hard to describe how you go from here to here because you've been through a long process of things that you think or you hope with, to the bottom of your heart that will work, right. they don't. Right. This has really transformed. To say it changed my life is is uh, that's not. It's an understatement. Yeah, it's an understatement. I so. want to thank you so much for agreeing to speak with us and the baddies in the community. Um, we always speak to women, or we hear from women. It's so great to hear from a male's perspective, because sometimes we just assume, oh, you know, it's gone. Just get rid of it. You're still, you know. So it's good to hear that you guys, you know, you struggle with it as well, and you're trying to do everything to, you know, yeah. to mitigate that hair loss. 
Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, so I want to ask you, um, Tamara, as far as more clinically, um, did he have a scarring or a non-scarring form of alopecia? He had non-scarring. Non-scarring. Non -scarring. So does the PDO threads work for scarring or really specifically we're targeting uh, scarring or non-scarring? Um, it, it can work for scarring because once again, the PDO is rebuilding the collagen. Right. And scar is somewhat of a form of collagen production. So right. you can minimize that mm -hmm. and improve that mm -hmm. with increase fibroblasts, increase blood flow. Right. Question is, so explain to me what are you doing right now? Okay. So I'm inserting the acupuncture needle that has the thread wrapped around it mm -hmm. uh, into the hairline. So the thread has a specific length that is suitable for the amount of hair that we're trying to stimulate. Okay. If needed, I would do a second row. So by inserting that needle with the thread, it's causing an injury underneath the skin, mm -hmm. and so the body's natural response is to heal it. Okay. And with that is collagen, because your skin, hair follicles, everything is made up of collagen, and so that's a natural process. Okay, and I noticed that your assistant has some kind of gold device on his head. What is that for, and what is it doing? So it's a vibrating device that basically distracts the nerves. Mm -hmm. So it's an old medical practice. Um, tapping on one other part of the body will distract the nerves there and they will not um, initiate a, a pain impulse at the area that is actually causing pain. Gotcha, so it's a distraction. Yes. Okay, um, and how long is this procedure gonna take right now at this moment? I would say maximum 10, 15 minutes. Are you serious? Yeah. 10, 15 minutes? Yes. Okay. Um, and so how many treatments do we need to see any type of results? So it, the results vary for, vary for everyone. Um, so I would have uh, Robert come back in in about four weeks to see how things are progressing. Okay. So as we know, hair grows in different stages right. and only about a half an inch a month. Mm -hmm. So we would reevaluate monthly. Um, this is something that he could probably do in three months. He doesn't have to do monthly. Oh, okay. Do one treatment and then come back in three months and see how it's going. Gotcha. If you want to be more aggressive, you can come back monthly and do the treatment. There's no harm in it. Okay. All you're doing is constantly stimulating the follicles, regenerating, increasing the blood flow. Mm -hmm. So there's no harm in doing it monthly, but I like to be conservative, um, you know, because things do cost money and people have limited time. So you can come back in three months and do it. Okay. Well, I was definitely going to ask that million dollar question uh, <laughs> a little later, but how much uh, is PDO threads, whether you're doing it for your hair, whether you're doing it for your face? Okay. So it varies uh, depending. So it depends on how many threads I'm going to use. Okay. So someone like Robert... Something like that, the maximum would be $500. Okay. Okay. Um, if I needed to do a lot more hair, mm -hmm. depending, if I did the whole um, frontal area, including the temples, you know, that might increase the price by another, maybe two, two fifty. Okay. Okay. Um, if you're doing the whole crown, mm -hmm. you know, that, that would increase it to about a thousand. So the only way for us to know is to have a consultation with Correct. you. Correct. And I offer free consultations. Okay. Awesome. So we would need a consultation to know exactly how much is it going to cost. And you've mentioned earlier about the benefit of combining PDO threads with PRP. Yes. Which is the platelet rich plasma, right? Yes. Therapy. Um, how is that cost breaking, broken down? So right now, um... The PRP, um, I'm charging a thousand dollars for PRP um, in combination with the PDO. I would just do fifteen. Mm -hmm. I try to, you know, I can work with the prices depending on how much you need. Right. I can work with the prices if you're buying a series of three. I always reduce it by a couple of hundred dollars. Right. I do work with people as far as a payment plan. Oh, awesome. You know, if you're giving fifty percent up, and then you could pay the rest of the third treatment. So I'm very flexible, um, you know, I understand and I try to be empathetic to right. everybody's needs. Um, so anything can be worked out. And what is that called uh, There, when you have the, um, the card through your employer? If it's, is it FHA or... Um, um, it's the... the um, FSA. 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 Do you accept yeah. FSA? Yes. 
Okay. So people can use their FSA to pay for um, some of the procedures. Yes. Now, do you accept insurance at all, medical insurance? I do. I have the capability of billing uh, for insurance. Now, PRP at the moment is only approved for um, certain joint injuries. I believe it's um, golfer's elbow. Okay. Um, so we're getting there. Right. Um, there are, there so, but for consultations, my consultations are free. For any medical um, labs, I do try to use uh, health insurance. Gotcha. Okay. And so just going back to what you're doing um, right now, um, a quick question that I know a lot of people, a lot of baddies are going to ask me is if they stop treatment, stop PDO treatment, will their hair fall out? No. No, because you've regenerated everything. Right. You've renewed it. Okay. And so you're going to have that, but you have a normal process. And and what I want to stress is that this is the hair loss is a symptom. Right. So if you don't address the underlying cause mm. of why you're losing your hair, of course it's going to happen again. Right. So I, I try not to fool anyone to think that this is the, the, the end all be all. It's going to work great. Right. So it's a symptom. Do you help us to identify what those underlying conditions yes. are? Yes, okay. and I try to do it as conservatively as possible. Um, a lot of functional medicine labs are not covered by insurance. So I work with people to get them to their goal without breaking the bank. Right. I'm here to help people. So the elimination diet is my big thing. Right. You know, resetting the body is what this elimination diet is. It's a commitment. It's a three-week commitment. Okay. But you won't regret it. And what are some things that we're eliminating? So, for instance, dairy, um, a lot of animal protein, mm. um, butter, certain citrus fruits. Citrus fruits actually stimulate histamine. Really? And, and so part of what this diet is doing is eliminating histamine, and it takes three weeks for the body to get rid of histamine. Mm -hmm. And histamine is a natural reaction to any food sensitivity or intolerance. Right. And food is medicine, and it could also be poison. Right, And you right. won't know that until you eliminate a group of these foods. And see what's... So yes. this is a three-week commitment, but it doesn't mean that we can't, if we love something, can't add it back if we notice that... Well, that's a, yeah. At the end of the three weeks, you start adding food back. One by one. One by one. And I'm here. You know, what's included in this elimination diet program is me. Right. And so I'm available all the time to help you through the process. Right. To make sure you succeed. Right. Because it's a great process. So at the end of three weeks, you know, at the minimum, we meet once a week, but I'm available every day. Gotcha. And then at the end of three weeks, we start reintroducing food and seeing how do you feel. Two days later, you reintroduce something else. Oh no, I'm, I'm feeling bloated. Keep right. that away for a few more weeks and keep healing your gut. Right. Until maybe you can have that one day. So is the elimination diet process, um, does that come in a package with PDO threads or that's its own separate? It's its own separate, but if someone wanted to do the two, I would definitely discount the price. Okay. Um, you know, I'm very fair. If you're coming here and you're, you're, you want to do many treatments, right. I always discount the price. And right. I, I have a 10% off for any new clients. Um, so yeah, it's um, very flexible and very reasonable. You know, I try to be reasonable. Right. So last question for my baddies who are listening. Hair loss is my problem. Regardless of what the actual condition is, what are the three treatments you recommend that I start with, considering that I'm doing everything else to find out what the underlying condition is here um, at Ageless? Um, so you're already doing... Okay, I, I would say the, the, the threads, the PRP... Um, and uh, even microneedling. Microneedling. Need needling. Yes. Okay. Microneedling. How does that also, help? Microneedling, microneedling also is collagen induction. Mm. Okay. So it's also causing micro tears, which now the body has to repair, which increases blood flow, new collagen, right? New follicles wakes up the follicles. Right. So it's another Do one. I have to worry about any possible infection with these tears? Of course, yes. Right. But as you can see, I'm cleansing mm -hmm. uh, with chloroprep, uh, sterilizing. alcohol, sterilizing, mm -hmm. washing my hands. So if you have a if you have a provider that's taking care, it's very minimal. As long as you're cleansing, it's very minimal risk. Cleanse before or after the microneedle? Um, before. Right. Okay. Right. And that's what we take care of doing. Okay. 
Well, thank you so much, Tamara. It was definitely, this was a great experience. And I hope that you, you know, you welcome us back. There's so yes. many more things that you offer here and we can't go through all of them, but. <laughs> You're always welcome. Yes, thank, thank you. you. <laughs>